Good morning, everybody. Uh, the other day I did a video on uh, my thoughts on bug out bags, and I was talking about a bug out bag resupply, and this is what I've come up with. Just a tote, nothing fancy. Um, I've been taking freeze-dried bulk stuff, uh, the number 10 cans, and then I crank my wood stove up, uh, which is my only heat source, for a couple of days until I burn off as much humidity in the room as possible. Uh, so moisture obviously kills your freeze-dried. Um, and then I crack open the container and as fast as I can scoop up, uh, scoop it into free, uh, into seal meals drop in an oxygen absorber and slap a label on it and seal and meal it and my thought is we have electricity now you don't have to go digging for this stuff or packaging it up to go do whatever you're doing uh, if you're going to use your bug out bag for work like firewood crew or something like that you just go through here dig out what you want throw it in the bag it's good you haven't lit enough oxygen to it for a long enough period of time, I mean, it, it's even if you weren't careful, it's still going to last a year in this box. Um, and I will use this up camping uh, before it goes bad in a year. So, uh, and then I can change it out that way. But I just granola uh, stuff like that. I've just been freeze drying in this stuff, uh, vegetable soup mix, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, freeze dried. Uh, dairy, uh, so you can actually make a quick meal and not, uh, you know, have to eat just pre-packaged processed uh, stuff. Not really into that sort of thing. So uh, I try to avoid it as best I can. And then I have a couple of friends that use that uh, food bank thing, and it seems to be a thing of theirs to get as much food as possible for free, and they don't like half of it. So they know I stockpile stuff. They give me all their extra crap. So I have thrown some of that stuff in there. Uh, little bags of cranberries, stuff like that. Uh, nuts. Uh, I throw some of that stuff in there. Um, usually it's pretty disgusting. But in a SHTF situation, food's food. So anyway... Uh, that's what I've started. Uh, I have another one with bags of rice and beans, the little one pound useless bags. Um, I, I have those. Uh, I used to just dump them into a five gallon bucket and keep them under the counter. But, uh, or store them, whatever. But uh, I've decided to put those in a separate tote, mark it, bug out bag resupply. And that'll be what that is. Throw a sack of rice and a couple bags of this stuff in there. And you got days worth of, you know, you're only using this dairy stuff a tablespoon or so at a time. Um, so you can get a lot of food in a small space uh, with not a lot of weight. And then you're not eating candy bars and little quick crap that most people usually put in a bug out bag. Uh, you're actually getting into a real meal, uh, which, you know, if you're on a work crew, you're not running, so you should be able to stop and enjoy yourself for 10 minutes of your day. Uh, anyway, that was my thought. I uh, hope that helps somebody, give somebody an idea on more and better ways to prepare. Y'all have a good one.